Hey everyone, First T here. Thanks for checking out this YouTube channel. Congratulations, Patty Tava Tanikit, on winning the ANA Inspiration 2021. Here's her post win virtual press conference interview. Everyone, I am pleased to be joined now by the 2021 ANA Inspiration Champion, Patty Tavitanikit. Patty, we have seen you after every round this week. We've talked about your composure, how you felt, but how are you feeling now that you can say you are a major champion? For some reason, I'm still calm. You know, there's some calmness in me. I don't know why, uh, but like I said, I just want to. I just want to to be done and since this morning didn't get a lot of sleep last night um but i meditated twice this morning and uh you know just be patient and it was gonna be hard out here i know and i gotta be really strong mentally so it feels great to be a major champion it still hasn't really sunk in yet the fact that i'm like i was just i just turned 21 six months ago and now i'm a major champion on my rookie year just crazy. You talked about on the on the green after your win how you remembered getting your low am trophy back in 2019. What does it mean to kind of come full circle now with the Dinah Shore trophy? Uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. I feel like I'm really grateful for all the opportunities I got from before, you know, AJGA for uh, having me play here uh, as an amateur and also got an invite um, when I was in college. Um, really grateful for those opportunities to come and play, experience the course, and uh, know how it's like to, to play in a major. And I feel like that helped me a lot. Um, I was talking to my coach last year at the US Open. I was like, wait, this is my fifth US Open. And then I was just, oh man, like I've played in a couple of majors, like enough to know how to handle myself out there. And uh, it was, probably the best experiences I've ever gotten from, you know, anyone who's given to me. All right, we're going to open it up for questions behind me, starting with Steve. Patty, at what point were you aware of what Lydia was doing? No point. You never knew? No, not even on the 18th. So um, was there any point in the round where you felt like, uh, you know, this may be getting a little sideways and you were able to hit a shot that brought it back? Not really. I feel like I've been, I've been striking the ball well all day, just didn't make putts. I still shot four under. It, it was a good round. Um, like I said, I didn't really look at the leaderboard. I didn't really care who did anything. I just want to focus on myself and because uh, I know that will, you know, lead me to somewhere I want to be. Did you know that you are the first player in history to, to uh, make this their first win in their rookie year? No. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, that, I mean, how does that make you feel? Accomplished. Um, you know, obviously, well, coming into this year, I didn't really set any goals just because I knew how tough it was last year, and I just want to come out, try to learn to be a better player. Uh, my dad kind of told me, like, if anything, you know, you should keep your goal as having a, under 100 um Rolex ranking and top 60 for CME and that's just been kind of you know my goal uh, at the back of my mind I, d I really want to win I told Grant I told my coach about it but I didn't expect to win here. Karen? How much did playing in the final group in February in Georgia um, was that in Georgia help in ga at Gamebridge in oh, Gamebridge, Gamebridge help this today? Um, is there a carryover or experience? It did carry over. I, I watched how how the winner played, uh, how Nelly played. She played really good that day, obviously. She stayed patient. I learned a lot from that. Um, and, you know, it, it takes a lot out here to win, obviously. And uh, all I need to do, like I told myself, like, you just got to be patient. Because I'm, I'm impatient. I'm a very impatient person. I can, you know, go, go sideways. Um, pretty easily but for for some reason after playing in the final group um, at Gamebridge and going back uh, second off the last um, at the um, Ocala taught me a lot of experiences to finally
close it down on a Sunday. Thank you. Uh, Patty, you've established a college and so a metric tour. You won a lot, I mean, just like 10 times between UCLA, Cleveland, and 2019 and Side Metro. You know how to win, you know how to close out an event. For today, bigger stage, could you feel more gravity in trying to close out today? Yes, for sure, because I wasn't able to close it at Gamebridge or Ocala, and there's some some weight in there in, in me where like I gotta do something different, um, and I took that approach and it turned out pretty great, you know. Uh, just a quick follow up. I mean, you stayed seemed aggressive throughout today, whereas a lot of times young players in this situation you might try to dial back a little bit, be a little more conservative. It seemed like you had your foot on the pedal throughout. Does that really help you with that? Yes, mindset that's, that's the mentality since the first day. Um, so, you know, just keep pedaling. You never know what's going to happen out here. I just got to keep going and going. All right, Zach. Patty, you left Q Series in 2018, and you told, I remember you telling me, I'm not ready for this. You went back to college. How I didn't even want to be there. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even want to be like there. It was like two weeks long, and it was raining, and I had midterms, and I was just like, I'm miserable. I don't like this. I want to go back. How much did the Symmetra Tour help you for this moment? Huge. I learned how to win out there. I learned how to be comfortable, to feel like I could do it, um, which really helped. I, if I would to recommend anyone to turn pro, they should go to Symmetra. It's, it's a preparation tour. It's not a transition from college to LPGA. Is a, it's huge. It's. It's way too big um, for me personally, but uh, I'm really glad I played on Symmetra Tour for half a season, even though, you know, going in, I kind of just want to make it to Q Series. I ended up getting the card, uh, winning three times, which is uh, incredible. Yeah, I wanted to walk, uh, ask you to walk us through a few shots. The chip shot on 14 looked pretty delicate. You almost chipped it in. Can you yeah. walk us through that one? Uh. I practiced my chipping on the putting green this morning and I got some nice feel to it. You know, I was really calm. It was, the lie was sitting down, it was not the best, um, but I was pretty comfortable with, with it. I just, I've been chipping really good since Monday. So I, you know, every time I miss the green, I'm like, yeah, I, I can make up and down from anywhere. That was an incredible chip on 17. Uh, another one that it looked like was going in. Yeah. Um, did, walk us through that one a little bit. Uh, well, obviously, I feel like if I knew what was going on, I don't know if I could pull that. <laughs> Since I didn't know, you know, I just played like how I would, you know, do it freely. And I feel like that just helped. Like, I just, I like chipping really close to the green. You would barely see me putt. And I just have a really nice feel in my hands. And I asked you yesterday about being a closer. Uh, and now you're a closer. Uh, how does it feel? Um... It's like, it hasn't really sunk in, you know, it's kind of surreal right now, but I feel great. I feel like all the hard work and dedication into trying to be better as a golfer ha has paid off and huge thank to that to, to my coach Grant Wade and uh, PN Lynn Vision 54 to helping me stay sharp on the course. Right. All right, we have some on Zoom. Once again, if you have any questions for Patty on Zoom, please be sure to utilize the chat function to let me know, and I'll call on you. Uh, Beth Ann, I know you have a question. Yeah, hi, Patty. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Super impressive. Um, I, I wanted to go back to last night when you said you couldn't sleep. How much sleep do you think you actually got, and what kind of thoughts were running through your mind? Uh, I really, I remember just, counting my breaths for like it reached 100 for like five times and I I shut the light at 10 I took magnesium powder just to help relax in my muscles and to sleep a little better um, try to go to bed around 10 I think I laid around until like 11:30 and got up to go to the bathroom at like probably five for for almost five and just stayed up were you thinking at all about that jump in the top of the pond and what that might be like? Yeah, I was. You know, there's a lot of thoughts going on throughout from 
6 a.m. to 1, I mean, until now, there's probably a million thoughts, you know, that run through my head, and I don't remember them all just because I just want to stay present the whole moment, the whole time I'm out there on the course, and, you know, breathing helped, just activating my senses and to be aware of myself, it really helped to me to be present out there. And if I could just ask one more, um, what was the most helpful thing that Pia and Lynn said to you this week? Um, I actually have it on my text. I can read it to you. I sent them a text about my core values this morning. Um, do you want me to read it? Okay. <laughs> read it. Um, so I said, well, they said, reality check. You don't know if you're going to win or not today. Um, you can play good and not win, or you can play so-so and still win. Um, you do want to make yourself proud by taking the best actions possible to manage yourself and your game plan. And that was huge. I took that really seriously. Just focus on what is 100% under your control because the outcome is, you're, you can't control it. And I said, I agree. No matter what happens today, my core values are, one, my parents will be proud of me and still love me no matter what. Two, I'm already so proud of myself to be able to play good the last three days and, you know, just be a better player already since last year. And three, I'm still going to be the same Patty who appreciates the love and care from the people that matters in Patty's life. And four, at the end of the day, there's always room for improvement and I won't stop trying to be or get better. And I feel like those words, you know, I, I just keep like making it sink into my system and I, I really think those core values um, help me to win today. That was amazing. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Beth Ann. Douglas, if you'd like to unmute yourself. Uh, Patty, congratulations on a fantastic week of gold. Thank you. Um, when you were walking across by the grandstand in the memorial wall and getting ready to walk across Poppy, uh, the bridge over Poppy's Pond, what was going through your mind? Um, well, I was happy and excited and, you know, a I got a little emotional. Um, but I just kept telling myself it's not over yet. You still have to try your best to make the putt or just to putt that. Um, and I think Ryan, my caddy, saw me, got a little bit emotional, and he, he said, come on, let's focus on the last one, which I did. And I feel like I, I, I you know, just pull myself out of the emotional state and just be back to where I need to be. Uh, on the course today, when you got to 1700, did you at any time start thinking about trying to get to 1900 or chase the tournament scoring record? A little bit. I was trying to go... To up to 20 but the putts weren't dropping um but i wasn't gonna force it i was just you know i played great as i mean 400 on a sunday on the last group that's looking back it's it was really tough <laughs> okay. uh, i i did not hear how that. are you going to savor the moment and what's next for patty um i'm just gonna let it sink in know that I can win out here, which, you know, I, I proved to myself that today. Um, and there's always going to be the next step from here, because obviously I always want to get better. I always, you know, just I like to win. So uh, hopefully more wins uh, ahead of me. All right. Thank you, Douglas. Um, we do have a question um, about your caddy. You just talked about how your caddy was really helpful in keeping you calm, especially in the last one. Um, were there any conversations that really helped, especially on this final day here with him? Yeah, you know, like, we talked things through every shot pretty good, and uh, he kept me really calm. He, you know, he tried to have me stay on the same pace since day one, which was huge because, you know, I could be walking faster, walking slower, doing things a little different. Like, for example, yesterday, um, I wasn't really, like, hitting it as aggressively towards the end because I was tired and he told me that. So I was like, okay. Um, he's really aware of that and he played so he understands. 
All right, and then Harvey. Harvey, if you would like to unmute yourself, please. Hi, Patty. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. You said throughout the week you haven't checked social media, you haven't really been on your phone much. I know you've obviously called back home, but what's the phone going to be like when you open it up? I'm guessing just quite a few notifications. It's, uh, it's already... <laughs> been a lot <laughs> I'm just like I'm having it on my hand right now and I'm just there's a lot of people reaching out and obviously a lot of people reached out yesterday too but I just feel like I, I, I can't respond to everyone which I feel really bad I don't usually do that um, but you know P and Lin and it's also Grant told me like you can you should respond to people you want to connect with and who you feel like you don't have to talk much about golf which I did <laughs> Thank you, Harvey. Beth Ann, I know you have another question if you'd like to unmute. Just one more for me, Patty, if I could. Uh, the way you, your power, the speed you have, how much do you think your power comes from <laughs> and how you're able to harness it so well in big moments like um, this? Well, physical strength is important and uh, I've been training hard, getting my body to move the right way and stronger with, uh, with uh, Dr. Brendan McLaughlin in, in, uh, down in Orlando. Um, and I also have my trainer in LA, which I actually visited her Monday to train with her and I'm actually training with her tomorrow at noon. Um, yeah, um, it's been great. I feel like both of them understands what I'm going through and um, you know, they, they try to keep me strong and address my weaknesses. Um, it's, it's been a huge help that in that regards. And more importantly, it's uh, my swing change and how I'm swinging it more freely, um, more efficiently. Um, and that's all Grant's work. Is, is this the longest you've ever hit the ball in your life? I think so. I probably I mean well it's dry here and it's hot you know the boss going far I mean if it were to be like 50 degrees I would hit it 240 250 like <laughs> average <laughs> thank you Patty. thank you Patty. all right with that I think um, I'll just wrap it up with one more question here Patty um, what are you thinking now that you've had the time to put on the robe? This is the 50th edition of the a and Inspiration. What does it mean to come out of here winning the 50th edition of a major championship with such long history and tradition? Um, you know, it, it means the world for me to finally win an LPJ Tour event to begin with. And on top of it, doing it uh, at a major. It's It's been surreal, you know. Um, always wanted to win a major and... My goal for my career is to get a Grand Slam, obviously, and uh, I got one checked out. All right. Thank you, Patty, and thank you, everyone on the call. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations once again, Patty Tavitanikit. What are your thoughts on the ANA Inspiration 2021? Let me know in the comments section below, and please click on the thumbs up icon if you liked this video. Subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing the video also helps, and don't forget to click on the notification button for this channel so you won't miss the next First 2T video.